Guten Morgen, alle Guten. Es sind dann der Brock von Luxemburgisch with A. Are you struggling with the Luxemburgish word order, so with the construction of a sentence, when using words such as well or van? Yes? Then this lesson is for you. Was du prat? Are you ready? Dann los! Well, a conjunction connects phrases together, normally the main part of a phrase with the uh, subordinate part of the phrase. Now, there are many, many, many conjunctions in Luxembourgish, but in this lesson I will concentrate on two of them, probably the most common ones and very important, which do change the word order. Okay, and these conjunctions are well and van. Now pronounce them well and van. Well means because and van can either mean if or when. Now well and van are subordinate conjunctions. This means that they introduce a subordinate clause. A subordinate clause is a dependent phrase, a phrase which cannot stand on its own. Let's have the following example. Hat geht bei dem Doktor, hat as krank. Now, in one of my lessons, you have learned one of the most important rules uh, about the word order in Luxembourgish. This is that the verb is always the second element in the sentence, like in these two sentences. Uh, hat geht bei dem Doktor, so geht is the verb, hat as krank. Okay? Now these are two uh, separate phrases, but you can connect these two phrases with a subordinate conjunction. Let's first combine these two phrases with the conjunction well. Hat geht bei dem Doktor, well hat krank as. Hat geht bei dem Doktor, well hat krank as. Now, as you can see, the conjunction well is followed by the subject hat. And the verb, where is the verb? Well, the verb is at the very end of your clause. So, this is very important. The conjunction well pushes the verb at the very end of the sentence. And this applies as well to the subordinate conjunction van and to all the other subordinate conjunctions. Let's do now the same uh, phrase with wann. Hat geht bei dem Doktor, wann hat krank as. Hm? Hat geht bei dem Doktor, wann hat krank as. So now remember this rule whenever you have a subordinate conjunction. You can start your sentence with the main sentence, the main clause. Hm? Comma, don't forget the comma, and then you put your subordinate clause followed by the subject, and at the very end of your sentence you will put your verb, or if you have several verbs, the, the, all the verbs will come at the end of your sentence. Now I hear you asking, but and what happens if I start with the subordinate clause? Well, then you have to, uh, to be careful, then we apply a rule I call the verb, comma, verb rule. For example, you can start your sentence with Well hat krank as, comma, geht hat bei dem Doktor. So you see, we start with the subordinate clause with, uh, introduced by Well, Well hat krank as. Geht hat bei dem Doktor. So after the comma, you put again your verb followed by the subject. Or how would you do the same sentence with wann? So this would be wann hat krank as, comma, geht hat bei dem Doktor. Easy, isn't it? Now it's time to practice with one example. I will give you two separate phrases. And you will have to combine these two separate phrases with the conjunction 
väl. Mir bleiben haut dohin öt regnet. Now I give you uh, some time to uh, think over the correct solution. Hopefully you got mir bleiben haut dohin weil öt regnet. Yes? Great. Now try to, to do this sentence by starting with the subordinate clause. So by starting with well, hopefully you've got well it rained, bleiben mir haut do hin. You see, we have again this verb, comma, verb rule. Well it rained, bleiben mir haut do hin. Now, practice more with uh, other examples which you can download on my blog. And on my blog, you have as well access to a free lesson with exercises about the subordinate conjunctions. And this lesson is part of my online course, The Basics of the Luxembourgish Sentence Construction. Now, this is really a very easy online course, which you can uh, do in 10 days. So one lesson every day with exercises for every day. And at the end, you have a final test so to evaluate uh, your knowledge. And you can send me your final test so that I can give you the correction. Okay, great. Thank you for watching. Merci, Fiat Nokupen.